Good morning and welcome back. I'm LJ with today's food adventure stop here in a suburb of Chicago at a place called the Mean Wiener. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Featuring Mexican and American food, I'm here for a typical Chicago dog today. And there we are, my friends, the Mean Wiener. And that is definitely one mean looking wiener. And Highwood, Illinois, we're in a suburb again of Chicago and we're gonna try out today's random food adventure at the Mean Wiener to see if it's any good. I checked the uh, Yelp reviews, seems pretty high, so we're gonna check it out to see if it's true and we agree with those ratings. Are you ready for today's food adventure? Come on, let's go. Yeah, so be the mustard, relish, onions, and we specialize in buffalo wings and of course, Charboiled wieners, those are the prices right up there. Burgers and Mexican food. Ooh, mean tostada. That sounds delicious. Oh man, but oh, so much food, I bet. And check that out. Not only do they have mean wieners, they have mean tacos. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be damned. I'm looking forward to this. I'm excited. That's what she We've got the dining area. And look, ice cream shakes and splits and floats. Hey, not bad. $3.95. Check that out. And nice. We have cherry Pepsi today. A little hard to find. Delicious. my friends and this is what we're working with we have like the rustic dirty style fries here nice and hot I can tell we have the spear shaped pickles that are sliced nice and thin and truly a Chicago style dog being here in Chicago with the little peppers the onions the green relish and ooh, it's kind of on a kind of a fluffy toast no not toasty bun but fluffy bun and that all beef good quality dog right up in there place those items back. What do you think guys? Is that looking good or what? All right guys, and here we are going in for the first bite. And no, I don't like mustard. So of course I did without the mustard, but let's dig in here. Mm. Okay, my first impressions, I could taste the good quality all beef dog in there. The relish definitely shines through. I like the nice sourness of the, the pickle there. The onions, not bad, not too much oniony flavor. However, the bun is good. It could be toasted, but that's a lot of bread. So the bread to dog ratio on this one, the jumbo at least, kind of in proportion, disproportional, but overall flavor, really good. Oh, I didn't try these peppers. Let me just try the pepper on itself here. The pepper by itself. It's juicy. Mm, that's got a kick to it. It's nice. I like that. And next, the rustic cut fries. Mm. Loose in flavor. It has that um, kind of dirty potato, like dirty fries, dirty, dirty chips taste to it. Of course, not dirty, but it has, you know, that rustic type of flavor to it. Not bad. Okay, what do I rate this? Scale out of 10. Solid 6.8. And I hate to do the 0.8s, but yeah, 6.8, definitely a higher than a 6.5, so 6.8. Would I come here again? Yeah, I probably would. There's a really good menu of a lot of different things here. Burgers, tacos, and ribs too, but give it a shot if you're, area, if you're in the area. So, thanks for joining me today on today's quick food adventure stop. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Do me a favor and subscribe down below. Give this video a nice like and thumbs up. Turn on notifications and we'll see you on the next adventure.